Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Waha Racha Kodash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone, who well, who taught me this truth and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations, but if your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite if you could perceive it through the Spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. It's a brother Karatza, and I'm back with another uh, video epistle. Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. And this is going to be a, a quick lesson. I just wanted to uh, get a lesson in f uh, for today. And what. I'm going to be focusing on it's I was reading earlier and I came across this in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 we're going to grab verses 27 and verses 28 all right and it reads withhold not good from them to whom it is due when it is in the power of thine hand to do it say not unto thy neighbor go and come again and tomorrow I will give when thou has it by thee. Okay, so basically to break the scripture down, it's when you owe somebody, you pay them. Okay, and I'm not saying that. No, no, I'm not doing this video because nobody owes me. It's just I for I was reading and I forgot about the, uh, this scripture, right? And this is a very good scripture. This applies to me first and foremost. All right. So, hey, when it's when your bills are due and they come around, hey, uh, pay them. All right. If, especially if you got the money, if you owe somebody some money, whether it be a brother in the uh, faith or uh, somebody who who's not in the faith. Hey, what does what does it say again? Proverbs chapter three and verse twenty seven. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again, and tomorrow I will give when thou has it by thee. Yeah, so if you owe somebody uh, some bread and you got it, the money on you, then, hey, man, pay them, pay them what's due to them. All right? Hey, when, it, when you... Whatever services you received from that person or money, when you needed it, you received it from them. So when it's time to uh, pay it back, uh, pay it back. And like I said, again, don't nobody owe me anything. All right. I'm just doing a video on this lesson. Okay. So with that, we're going to grab a couple of precepts and uh, keep it moving. Uh, the first precept that we're going to grab, this is going to be the book. Of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 4, and is it verse 31? Yep, <laughs> and it reads, Let not thine hand be stretched out to receive, and shut when thou shouldest repay. All right, hey, let's get that again. Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 4, verse 31. It reads, Let not thine hand be stretched out to receive, all right? And when you need it, that hand out. You know what I'm saying? You receiving that hand out, all right? And shut when thou shouldest repay. Oh, man, I ain't got it right now. Or, oh, he can wait another day. He can wait uh, the next time I get paid. No, I'll pay it up, man, if you got it, all right? Um, so with that, um, let's go here. Let's grab another uh, preset. This time we're going to go to the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 37. All right. And we're going to grab verses 21. 
And it reads, like, hold on, let me highlight it. Uh, I use yellow. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. All right, let's get that again. Psalms chapter 37. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous show mercy, showeth mercy and giveth. All right, so hey, we know that the top wicked is are, are those of Esau, Edom. All right, they're the top wicked, all right, and they borrow and pay if not again. All right, we'll close off with, off of this uh, scripture right here. We're going to close off with, uh, uh, in the book of, um, back in the Apocrypha, in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, all right, uh, we'll close off with this, and it reads, uh, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before such as have afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors. All right. Hey, the righteous are going to stand bold in the face of uh, Esau Edom. All right. Let's get that again. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man Stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. All right. And you got men out here that are standing in great boldness in front of uh, Esau, Edom, as well as these other nations. All right. And who we've been uh, subjugated to. All right. Who who over the years we've been through uh, uh, chattel slavery. All right. And they've made no account of our labors. All right. They've made no no attempt to uh, pay back reparations, all right? And they've made no attempt to pay back restitution, all right, for for the nation of Israel's uh, labors, all right, whether they be the so-called Negro, the Latino, or the Native American, all right? A, when they, verse two, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far, so far beyond all that they look for, all right? Because they're going to see that these people who they treated like shit, who they owe, all right, who they received wealth and passed it down from generation to generation to their uh, children get delivered by the uh, by the Heavenly Father, Son, Yahweh Shai, all right? So you know what, Lord willing, this video was uh, edifying to those of you who may come across it. It was just a, a, a quick lesson on uh, paying back, all right, if you owe, all right? And, and we know that the wicked, they have not paid us back, but pretty soon they are through the power and spirit of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem Al Shai. So with that, once again, I want to say call it light and lie. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Waharach HaKodesh Barakatham. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of great Muslim who we will, who taught me this truth and who most definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.